Hello and welcome to yet another book review. As you can see, I'm supporting my new Capaldi t-shirt, which I said in my Capaldi Day video, it's finally came and it is a thing of art, it's beautiful. I do generally do like it and I've got a scarf. Yes, this does seem very geek handbaggy, doesn't it, with a t-shirt and scarf. Hmm. Yes, anyway, welcome to my review of The Engines of War, a War Doctor book. Now. I originally wasn't going to make a video reviewing this, it was originally going to be a write-up on my Facebook page uh, expressing, uh, expressing my love for this book because it is phenomenal. Um, obviously, I feel like it deserves a video to itself because it is a truly one of the best Doctor Who books I have ever read. And I truly do mean that, it is fantastic. And obviously in this review I'm going to explain why it is fantastic because... It is just mind-blowingly good. Right, so let's look how this book is presented. So, we cover the book. We have the Doc 2 logo there with BBC. And there we have a cog, which you could say references Series 8. Then we have a Dalek, what has the special weapons Dalek sort of ray. And it's interesting to note that this book has some new variants of Daleks. And inside the cog, I forgot to mention, we have the city of Moldox there which is sort of a main setting uh, for the book. Then we have some Daleks there, and then standard Time War Dalek. Then we have a picture of the War Doctor himself there, and a quote, War changes everyone, even the Doctor. Now, I really do like this sort of feature. Now, the sort of um, uh, War Council sort of table where we saw the weird hologram sort of stuff on there uh, is now sort of the sort of background for the text, Engines of War, which I think is a really nice attention to detail. Then we have uh, some... Dalek ships there, firing, and of course we have Gallifrey there. And on the spine, we continue this sort of reddish sort of wall feature. DW, then we have Engines of War again with the Time Lord table by George Mann, BBC Books. And on the back, we have the famous words of the War Doctor, No More. Yes, and then we have a really nice picture of a cog, then the city of Moldox, and then we have the TARDIS with some fire which is brilliant and at the top we have a quote from Day of the Doctor so that's basically the cover now let's look how the book is presented okay inside. so if you open it up we have uh, what the story is about Engines of War so if I just put that there do feel free to pause to know what Engines of War is about yes yeah, so there it is and yeah I'm not actually gonna go this is a very nice page uh, so if we move uh, to the back of the book, we have a bit of bio on George Mann, the person who wrote this book. And of course, we have advertisements for other Doctor Who books, such as Tales of Trenzador, the official quiz book, and some of the new 12th Doctor books. So that's the way the book is presented. Now let's actually get on to my full thoughts on this superb book. Now let's go on to my review of Engines of War. So Engines of War is a true page turner of a book. Now with the Time War being a huge part of the Doctor's life, um, we've only had tiny snippets of the Time War, uh, especially in Day of the Doctor we only saw a tiny bit of Arcadia falling, uh, but we have had references to such key events like the Nightmare Child and the Gates of Elysium. End of Time Part 2, I think it's referenced that the Time Lords uh, turn on their own kind or become evil and sinister in the final days of the war. Now, this book is obviously set towards the end of the Time War, and the Time Lords turn on the Doctor, because the Doctor is trying to find a more moral way of stopping this Dalek threat. Uh, not because the Doctor feels pity for the Daleks, but what's around the Dalek fleet uh, he's worried about. But the Time Lords are thinking of themselves and are just going to go, right, we're going to do this. I'm not going to say what they are planning to do because they've just written the book. But that's what the Doctor falls out and over. And it's really interesting having Rassel on and the Doctor have this massive sort of confrontation. And it's definitely uh, worthy. And the Time Lords themselves are really dark. I mean, you think the Time Lords are this noble race, but they are really selfish and just surprisingly shocking. Uh, it just shows that war, as a book does say, war changes everyone. So I really do like that fact that George Mann sort of exploited and expanded on that reference uh, made in End of Time. Now, 
obviously the Doctor returns to Gallifrey, you would expect some returning sort of characters like Leela, K9. But thankfully, George Mann didn't go down that line because he would have had to explain um, what has happened to those characters when the war began and what they've been doing to help the war effort, which I feel like was a wise move for George Mann not to include the characters because uh, it, it would have taken far too much time and it would have lost, dare I say, the sort of fast pacedness of the book because it is very uh, action-y. Um, book as you would expect because it's quite it's a war book so I also think that you know I also think that George Mann did the right thing because if you had too many characters in it it would just hinder the story as I've said okay so I better go on to the main foe of this book the Daleks so the Daleks wow in this book you really do feel a sense of threat from them They're a sense of threat they are very much like Nazis being this huge and dominant force and my word, the Daleks do have some terrifying new sort of Dalek designs, like a spider Dalek, and they have some terrifying new weapons. What well, really, you wish the Daleks would like this in the TV show because they are really brutal. And the Daleks themselves, if you stand in their way, they will not hesitate to kill you. They are sheer brutes in this story. So now let's go on to my overall thoughts on Engines of War. So, what are my thoughts on this story? Overall, an enjoyable romp with us finding out when the time war actually started. Trust me, you will be surprised when you find out. You'll think, gosh, really? Was it then? Also, we have references uh, to past Dalek stories, and we also get little hints of future and past incarnations of the Doctor, um, which I'm not going to say because it is a really nice moment in the book. And also, we return to one of the deadliest places on Gallifrey. George Mann himself has really captured the characters perfectly. With you, honestly, you can hear the characters saying that dialogue, and it is truly believable dialogue, which is fantastic. Also, George Mann has done a wonderful job creating a Doctor What We Thought would never have a companion. You would think he would be like a Lone Ranger. But he has created this companion called Cinder. And by the end of the book, uh, she is a well fleshed out character and has a really sad and really tragic sort of background uh, story which I'm not going to say because that's a spoiler. The ending is just wow and it will explain why the Doctor was acting like that and it also hints at the War Doctor's famous words, no more. So you could sort of say this is a sequel to The Day of the Doctor. My only criticism to this book is Chapter 7. It is just too... It is just dull and boring and it's just too long. I think that, that chapter itself could be cut down a lot and it would sort of continue this nice fast pace or romp because the story just grinds to a halt in this, um, af in chapter seven, but then it picks up its pace and then everything's good again. So that's my only criticism. And uh, my final few points are there are some real shocking bits in this about the Time Lord Mythos and it's just great and if you're not a fan of John Hurt's incarnation of the Doctor by the end of reading this book you will love his Doctor he is a badass and you really do sort of feel this sort of grandfather sort of figure okay, so that was my review of the incredible Engine of War truly recommend it I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 because it is just superb I don't really like giving uh, stories 10 out of 10 because no story is perfect. So, yeah, this is my review of Engines of War. I highly recommend it. Um, it fills in your sort of knowledge of the Time War and it is great for any Doctor Who fan. I'm currently reading uh, The Crawling Terror, a new 12th Doctor book. So far, I'm only on chapter 3 and it's, well, going on to chapter 4 now. It is fantastic. These books themselves have got a lot of criticism saying they don't have, uh, they haven't captured the 12th Doctor. Uh, but so far, Mike Tucker has really sort of give us quite a good, um, for me, balance of the 12th Doctor. I can easily picture the 12th Doctor saying uh, the dialogue, which is brilliant. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see some more book reviews, comment down below, uh, because it'd be interesting to see whether you guys want to ha have uh, more book reviews from me. And uh, if so, comment down below and 
if the book reviews do get a go ahead, Crawling Terror will be my next book review. Um, also, I will be doing a book collection as well, show you my book collection. And if the book reviews get a go ahead, uh, then you can comment down below on that book collection video on books you would like to see me review. So for now guys, thank you very much for watching, stay awesome because you're all brilliant people and I hope to see you in my next video. So whatever that will be, probably big finish. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you then.